it. That's most of the reason why. Because it, again, Vagrant has done all the hard work for you. It's standard templates. So what you're doing is running. So again, important part would see the. Uh, Importing the image because I think I had some problems with the Slash 11 one. The stun is you no know, Slash 11 now. If it finds as a network card, it makes it live automatically, and which is great. But the problem is since that um, um, when you want to configure, it's very hard to configure in the scripting. I mean, I can do it by hand. But in a sense, the scripting language doesn't say anything. There's a, there's a bug in saying, oh, it's actually network cards there. I have to take it down before I enable it. So the, in the SLARS example, it says, oh, I'll set up networking and stuff like that. Um, but then it actually fails because of the sense, oh, there's network already there. So I can't, so it get, gets an error. So the scripting isn't uh, uh, that good for that. Uh, it's working away. Just while it's doing that, I was trying to understand the, the difference between scripting that you put in Packer and these commands, whether you call them scripts or not, these commands that you choose to run. Yes, that's in a favorite. <coughs> you sure I, yes, at the end of the day, it is scripting, isn't it? Behind, I'm only typing one command, but behind the scenes, it's actually doing all the scripting for you. So yes, it, it at the end there's the same. So what's the difference? Uh, in my own, I've written all the script myself and they work for me, so why bother with Vagrant? I guess the idea is they've, yes, very point, they are standard scripts, it should work in everything, so they're sharing it. I've written, you know, I've got my own um, development environment and I can s set up a Slaris, so basically instead of saying I'm sharing those scripts with everyone else and Vagrant, I've taken those scripts and put them under one umbrella. So yes, it is using scripting, but the more users use it, so therefore the more chance they'll fault the errors. And it says, my Solaris script works for me, you borrow it, and you do something different, it won't work. So the idea, yeah. Uh, so hopefully, because it says, I give you a script, but you do something, your setup's slightly different. Well, there's a different version of Solaris or something, something's changed. So hopefully, Solaris not a good uh, example, because the Linux ones, the scripts are very thorough, and the thing checking by millions of people. So therefore, it's, more eyes on scripts, so therefore, less chance. <coughs> and with one command, yes, that was the, uh, I, that's, that's trying to, yes, let's see if I can find it, I remembered it now, is, it actually, I can remember where the, yeah, 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 And I think, so yes, you're right, it's using, exactly as you say, it's using scripts, and I think when, um, not this one, I'm curious now, you don't changing host name, and I mean, it's, um, so that was weird, so therefore it's the, I think it actually works in the Slash 11 example. Uh, I'll do it in the background to see. Just as curiosity before. Which big and fast slash big and have I got a host name there? Yeah.
playing with fire, running to it, shutting down, aren't I? Those other commands don't tell you the status of your. This is the importance of the. Uh, Going back to that boot stuff you have to set up, is there any way to kind of automate that? That looks, that looks I mean, horrendous. I mean, that's the thing. How can you I mean, automate it? You can, okay, some, something can can watch what you're typing and see how long you're waiting between key presses. Because it's, it's very, you're doing something very, very mechanical. Yes, it is, yes. Tab, 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 wait a bit. Tab, it does tab, tab. Fairly fragile. Very fragile. That is. So you, you run it on a different machi faster machine or slower machine, and it fails. Yeah. Oh, I mean, that's the thing. I, I guess it's a matter of if. Uh, I guess that depends on his virtual box to ever give you any feedback, or anything mm -hmm. like that. That's the. So therefore, you're on the uh, on the on the uh, the virtual system you're using. <coughs> yeah. You know, wait until when. But why can't it use something like expect? So yes. It gets the I think the no, but the problem is sense that with expect because you're in a shell, you know you can get a command with take the slowest one, stick with slowest. The when you do the image, when you're doing a slowest, the the results are you know in the middle of the screen, and then tab the next no, screen. It's, it's, a, curses, it's like. curses. It's curses. Yeah. Um, and then with Windows, it's graphical. Mm. Uh, with Linux, I get Linux is near it's graphical as well these days. So you cannot eat this. Um, Maybe someone has. I guess I haven't. I see. Yes, it seems that it should be the way it's done. Yes. Can you just use um, customize the ISO Kickstarter or uh, auto install and just rebuild the generic template first? Because then you just boot up your ISO like on Red Hat or something else. You just put Kickstarter. Yeah. Even and that process from ISO, you can specify. Kickstart file in a, in a yeah, yes, no, fine, that's exactly, exactly. I mean, you don't, that's a very long winded way. In a perfect environment, you would use your boot command, would be your, 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 your normal booting process. Uh, so that's a good point, yes. Sir. So, in a sense, your boot command would be your normal booting process. You wouldn't do a, a manual thing, you would use your IPS for Slavis or whatever it is, Linux. Um, so, yes, which gets you standard, but then maybe you still want to do some modifications. So, therefore, you st using Packer. Not the vegan part. You packer. Um, if your your build system is 100% no hands free, then you don't need packer. <laughs> I mean, uh, only if you want to mess it, you, you, a tool to create a change in the image. So therefore, you wouldn't want to use packer. Uh, this is, in a sense, your your normal install thing is 99% hands free. You know. You, you, I'm sticking with slowest IPS also install, but they say, ah, damn, it doesn't quite work out Active Directory. I, I have to run some extra configuration and stuff like that. So, yes, the, if you've got a perfect install system, which is 100% hands free, and you don't need Packer, and then you're just into, into, into Vagrant. Why you need Vagrant? Then you, so because you're sending it to different environments. Uh, that's when the beauty of Vagrant is, in a sense, uh, that you, with, did that, yes, slowest came up. Did it change the host name? No, it didn't. No, fine. Again, I think that was the slowest eleven thing. I did, yeah, I wasn't being aware of that. Presumably, I mean, one other advantage is that Packer is, is, is multi platform. Yes. So, okay, it's primitive describing. In it, just providing input in the time domain. It's very primitive. Uh, don't forget, Slash is not a good example of this because, in a sense, that the, I say, I think they're stuck in Slash 10 and stuff like that and stuff like that. But the other Linux and stuff like that, the, 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 the templates they use are much better. Um, yes, it is primitive. It'd be nice to sense how, you know, as you expect and stuff like that. In a sense, the waiting is a pain, as I said. I moved it from my machine to this machine and I had to add a few more weights. Yes. So, and saying, oh, is your server busy today? <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, kick someone off. Yeah, you should. So, yes, it is very primitive. Unless someone comes out a way of doing it, a better way, then, or you have the perfect install system where you're sort of totally hands-free and then you don't need Packer. Well, you said on Linux, they, your boot command is just Linux or something. Yeah, I mean, yes. So they've does. obviously got something in yeah. there which does something. Yeah, properly. so therefore, yes, so. the boot command, depending... Like more work workers in Linux are, but boot commands are much shorter and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So, um, so that tells me the state is running, and let's halt. Which one am I halting? One of them.
of that. <coughs> Just so I've got this straight, are, are you saying you can create one of these files with the box on the end? Uh, the, use it using VirtualBox, but deploy it into VMware. Right? The the box is a, is a format for Vagrant. Yeah. Um, and that image can be deployed anywhere. So you can deploy the same. Um, I would just change the the, um, the Vagrant file and say, okay, point that to my Amazon or VMware. Vagrant up with a different slight, different slight, different modification of the file, and it would send it to your VMware. So the same image, yeah. one image, one image to rule them all. So therefore, you're only messing with one image, and it, it converts it into the relevant format and sends it to the destination. So that's the beauty of it. You're not sort yeah. of wondering which commands. Yes. It's not, again, it's not doing anything rocket science, it just tries to put it, hide it underneath the hood. You just change the modification in the file. It says in mine I have a virtual box, you can have anything and it goes away and deploys it. I'm, I'm confused. When, when you made the packer file, there was some virtual box specific memory. Yes, because I did, oh, there's two things there. One was, I did say I'm only creating a virtual box. You could say, you can specify which type you're using or you can have uh, many types. You don't need to specify specific hardcore. The, the, the specific things there was the memories started, I was starting in VirtualBox to build it. So the memory there and the CPU was just for the building process. And at the end, it was, doesn't need that. So therefore, you have a basic image. So a basic image. And yes, you can have, so you can have the, um, it can create it for many formats. But putting it into the box format means you can convert it to any one as well. Um, let's so uh, that's shut that one down. Slash so one is still going strong. I don't know why. Longer way. Um, is there? I say again with slash so one, it's it works. This um, don't think anything. So does Vagrant run on a variety of platforms? Vagrant only runs on. Windows, Mac, and a few Linuxes. Um, but again, you can deploy it anywhere. Yeah. So as, as I said earlier, you, know, you can deploy your enterprise from your laptop. Yeah. Is it open source or? Um... <coughs> yes, I think yes, it is. It is the source, but there is uh, the usual thing is support and. Um, uh, let's just go back to the final things. Okay, Vega 1.5 has just been released, well, um, and they've done some changes to it. Um, yes, yeah, okay, um, they have a share option now where you can, um, I've started up a, a virtual system and you can say, oh, I want my colleagues to actually access this virtual system. Instead of saying, oh, you know, SH to something, you can, you can start a command vagrant share, and it creates the SSH port or HTTP access, so then your colleague anywhere in the world will just do a similar command to, can then access your system automatically. It'll automatically being set up, you just send the, your thing, you know, a URL and stuff like that works well. So they've added share so you can look, get people to log on easily. They've changed some formats with uh, the box format. Um, I think that was a way of changing names. In the old, in the old 1.4 version of boxes, you usually have to say, oh, the name of the, the, name of the file was important. You say slaris hyphen virtual box dot box. Uh, virtualbox.box, which indicates Slaris and it's, it's virtual box image. You've created, now they just, you can say just Slaris. And it will work it out for a bit in. Uh, R-Sync and SMB syncing folders helps to sync files across when you're deploying the image, so in a sense, copying certain files of the image on the on initial boot up, like, you know, like I said, I was only setting up networking, but you could set up other things. So the idea you can use ability to, to pass data to your image um, with these options. Uh, it's always supported a uh, hyper hyper uh, V on Microsoft, but to say it's um, VirtualBox is the only one I can.